what is the difference between a website and a blog? Is there a difference? Are they the same thing? This is a question that I get asked a lot, so I wanted to address it here today. Hi, I'm Maureen from thecreativeimpact.com, where I help creative entrepreneurs with strategic show at website design and business trainings so that they can stand out, sell more, and stress way less about the design and tech in their business. If this sounds like information that you are interested in, then make sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell right next to it so you don't miss any of the videos I post on this channel each and every week. Okay, let's dive into the difference between a website and a blog. So we'll start with a blog. The word blog is, it's short for web blog, a website that contains a log of information on a specific topic or opinions. It's basically web plus log equals blog. Now, blogs have grown tremendously over the years, but a blog can simply be defined as like a regularly updated informational website displaying information in that reverse chronological order with the latest posts appearing first at the top of a page. Now, a website, on the other hand, in its simplest terms, can be defined as a collection of web pages. And these web pages are, they're online pages that you can view by using the internet or a web service on your computer, smartphone, tablet, and so on. So a blog is part of a website, but a website can also stand on its own without a blog. Does that make sense? If not, let's break this down a little bit further by looking at this in three ways. So number one, a website is a blog. The main purpose of a website that is a blog is to display content or articles. That's the whole purpose. This site, I Am A Food Blog, is a great example of this. It's solely a blog about food and recipes. It's literally composed of hundreds of blog posts about food recipes, and, and that's it. Other sites that are primarily content-based include things like the Huffington Post, Highly Sensitive Refuge. There's tons of other sites that are just blogs. I will put the links to some of these in the show notes below if you want to take a look at them. Okay, so number one was a website is a blog. Now, number two is a website can have a blog as a part of the website, but it's not the only thing on the site. ConvertKit is a site that demonstrates this. ConvertKit is the email provider that I have used and loved for over seven years now, and they are an email marketing business that offers email marketing software, but they also use a blog to provide helpful content and drive potential customers to their website. Now, blogging, it's really become a mainstream marketing strategy for online businesses like them. So they produce helpful content that draws in readers who are good candidates for their product, and then they sell their product. The same goes for companies like Lead Pages and Canva. They are creating content and drawing people in. Lead Pages actually uses their blog as a place to embed their podcast episodes with a little summary of the episode at the bottom. This is something that uh, I often do on my blog as well. As you can see here, I have the video embedded and then I have timestamps and some information below it. So the quote unquote blog on your site isn't limited to standard written blog posts anymore either. My website, thecreativeimpact.com and a lot of other entrepreneurs and small business owners who create content, these content creators to attract new audiences to their products and services would also fall into this, their websites would also fall into this category. Now, if you want to make money with a blog in 2022 and beyond, then you need to be selling something. So your site would be set up like this as well with a blog just being one part of your website. Now, a quick side note here, a lot of people think that having a blog and blogging is what will make them a full-time income in 2022 and beyond. But it does not work that way anymore. You need to either sell a service or a digital or a physical product to make money, good money online. And the blog portion of your website, it's just one part. And it, it serves to educate your visitors, to demonstrate your authority and get people onto your email list so that you can make them aware of your services or products that will help solve their problem. But that's a whole nother topic for another day. So hit the like button if this is making sense so far. All right, so we have covered uh, number one, a website is a blog. And number two, a website can have a blog as part of a website, but it's not the only thing on the site. And number three, a website can also not have a blog at all. It's just a standalone website. 
So websites like target.com and Lego are great examples of this. It's, it's funny, I actually had a hard time coming up with websites without blogs because more and more these days, companies are, are really utilizing them to attract more people to their sites and products. Now, there might not be a specific link that says, like, quote unquote, blog. It might say something like learn or discover. It might have a link like that in the footer. But obviously, sites like Target and Lego, they're well-known brands. They don't need any more exposure. So maybe that's why they don't have a blog or a learn section. Anyways, I hope that answered the question of, is there a difference between a website and a blog? A uh, quick recap to just tie it all together. A blog serves to share valuable content on a regular basis via a website. A website, on the other hand, can be one of three things. It can be a website that has that's just a blog exclusively. It can be a website that has a blog as part of the site, but it's not the only thing on the site. And a website can just be a website with selling services without any blogging content whatsoever. All right. If you are ready to create your own website or if yours just needs a serious update, make sure to get registered for my free three-day live training where you will be learning how you can create a stunning and strategic website, even if you are tech challenged, even if you are struggling for time and are on a budget and just can't afford to spend $3,000 plus on a web designer. We'll be discussing website strategy, the five essential things your website must include to convert visitors into customers, and the exact steps to follow that will have your website up and running in days, not months or years. You'll have the opportunity to ask me any questions that you have, and you'll also have the chance to win some really great prizes. So if you're interested in this, please go to thecreativeimpact.com forward slash website workshop, all one word, or click the link below in the show notes to sign up for this free workshop. I'll see you in the next video.